Thank you for joining us. Here we are coming to the end of our week. So now Jesus is saying, show me where you've laid him. Show me where he's, he's, show me where his grave is, you know, show me that. Take me to the cemetery. And then he gets there. And he says, wait, I need people, I need to pray for a minute because I need people to understand that who I am and why I've come. He prays to his father and he lets them know that this is done so that they may see and believe that you have sent me and because you have sent me, I have been given all power. I have power that they could never comprehend. I, they're going to see things they've never seen before. And so now he finished praying and he stands up and he says, Roll the stone away. And Mary, and Martha goes, okay, now you've gone a little too far. Because I know he's my brother and all, but he's been in there four days with me. He's going to be stinking about now. I can't be having all that stink up in here. I probably got some food back at the house. I can't have that. And Jesus is like, just take the stone away. Just take the stone away. There's no stink. There's no smell. Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. And what happens? They see Lazarus bound in his burial linen, just coming out. Jesus says to us, when he gets to our places, he says to us, come forth. Come out of that place of past hurts and past guilt and past pains. Come forth into the presence of my joy and my peace and my love. So today, let's praise God that we get to come forth. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.